Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am going to be talking all about LECA and my experience with LECA as a beginner. I get a ton of questions about it since I transferred my baby Monstera Thai Constellation who is not doing well into LECA and she's doing awesome now. So I'm going to give you guys an update on her and just kind of explain everything that I do, show you the products that I use, etc. And I have another plant that I need to repot into LECA so I figured I would do that with you guys as well. So if you are interested in any of that, just keep on watching. Okay, so first thing is first, I'm going to give you guys an update on my Monstera Thai constellation. So this is her. I've done multiple videos in the past about her journey, but the gist of it is she um, was getting really bad root rot. I think she got it three times and then you guys recommended for me to switch her to LECA. So I did and her roots are beautiful now. I will show you. Oh my goodness, they are so healthy. She has not been this happy in a very long time. And as you can see, she is so happy that, don't mind the pen on my hand, she is so happy that she is putting out a new leaf. Let's see if I can focus on it. There we go, kind of, I think. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to see it. I posted a photo of it just starting to emerge on the community tab, so a lot of you may already know that she's putting out a new leaf, but yes. So basically, she loves the LECA life, she is doing awesome, and I am super stoked about it because it is so extremely low maintenance. So I'm going to explain to you guys how I care for it. Actually, I'm gonna demonstrate as well because I am going to be flushing her and refilling her pot with nutrient water. She actually went dry the other day, so I just filled it up with a little bit of plain top water. That's what's in there now, but I'm gonna be redoing it. So these are the products that I have been using for her nutrients. They're by General Hydroponics. I just ordered them on, on Amazon. I can link them down below. Um, but yeah, I've refilled her only a couple of times using these products and then she started putting out a new leaf. So, so far, so good. You only use like the tiniest amount and I just use this water bottle to mix it because it has measurements. But um, yeah, it has like the whole chart of how much you use on the back of the bottle. So I'm just going to mix it to the diluted amount that I need. Oh, and you always have to mix this one in water first and then add the other ones. So yeah, it's very specific. You have to do the micro one first. So it's literally like the smallest amount and I always forget. So, oh my goodness, I don't know if you can see, but I just wrote it in permanent marker on the water bottle I use, but it's literally only like a little bit over a tenth of a teaspoon per 500 mils. So. I literally use the tiniest splash of each of these. just take my plant to the sink and I rinse out the LECA. My laundry's going in there so it's loud so I'm just going to like play music over it but yeah I'm literally just flushing it out and yeah running water through it really well. And as far as I know the purpose of that is to get rid of any mineral buildup um, and like dead roots and whatnot that could be in there. <music> flushing it out every single time I refill the re water reservoir because I have only been refilling it like every few weeks so I think that's long enough to need to give it a good flush. So what has been working for me is letting it get completely dry. I will let all the water dry up and then that is when I will fill it back up to that one third. And I have been consistently keeping nutrients in it but I was just learning that I guess you're not supposed to give it nutrients every single time. 
So I think I am going to still give it some nutrient water this time just because it is working on a new leaf, but then after that maybe I'll switch to tap water, just plain water um, a couple of times in between and then do the nutrient water like every third water or something like that. But yeah, that is just what I've been doing so far and obviously it has just been so happy. So I just flushed it. So now all I have to do is fill it up about a third of the way and then it's good to go. It's so easy and it'll be good for like a few weeks. So yeah, it's just like super hassle free. Okay, so next I thought I would do this um, during this video as well. I just got this plant the other day. If you follow me on Instagram, then you've probably seen it there, but this is my Alocasia Black Velvet. It's a little baby, um, and it came to me already in Lekka. So yes, but it's, you know, outgrown its little container here. So I'm going to be repotting it in Lekka in this clear orchid container here. This was 99 cents at one of my local plant stores. So I have my Leka here all ready to go. This is already washed. I completely hosed it down. Um, yeah, you always want to wash your Leka when you first get it because it's going to be full of clay dust and whatnot. And Leka is reusable, which is awesome because it's sustainable. But if you want to reuse it after, after it's already been used on a plant, then you're probably going to want to boil it just to minimize any risk of um, bacteria or fungus or anything like that so shortage of cover pots or like regular pots without a drainage hole I'm going to be using a bowl um, to be the water reservoir which is fine for now I don't really care um, yeah I need to get more Leka supplies if I'm going to be transferring more plants to Leka which I probably am the thing is I just mostly have terracotta like I love terracotta and that's something that holds me back from transferring more plants to Leka but I've seen some people get creative and like line terracotta with a Ziploc bag and use that as um, a water reservoir pot. So maybe I can explore those options. Um, if you guys have any ideas, then let me know down below. But um, yeah, this guy is all transplanted, repotted, ready to go. I'm just going to use the same nutrient water and fill it up to about one third. The nice thing about this is I can see really well <laughs> with the bowl um, how high the water needs to go. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Super easy. Okay, so that is pretty much going to be it for this video. Another common question that I get is if I pH balance my water and the answer is no, I do not. I don't really know a whole lot about that and it sounds like a lot of work so I'm just going to avoid it for now <laughs> and so far so good so okay I'm gonna leave it at that don't forget to leave me a comment down below I'd love to chat with you give this video a thumbs up it really helps my channel on the YouTube algorithm and make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you are not I make a lot of planty content and vlogs so yeah I'd love to have you here okay thank you guys so much bye